So my name is Samuel Bilodeau. I am the head of technology at Mystery Box, and I do the majority of our HDR color correction work. At Mystery Box, we're extremely excited about the HDR Image Analyzer 12G. The HDR Image Analyzer 12G supports 8K using a quad link 12G. So with the cables that we already have in place, we're gonna be able to deploy 8K in our color correction facilities. We're gonna be able to work in 8K and the HDR Image Analyzer is not gonna skip a beat. It's gonna be right there ready for us to be grading and monitoring in 8K. The HDR Image Analyzer supports camera log input. Um, this makes it the most powerful tool for DIT or camera matching on set that I have ever used. The camera log input to the HDR Image Analyzer allows the Image Analyzer to not just live in post-production, but to live in a production environment. The HDR Image Analyzer's Pixel Picker allows you to select a specific pixel and then see what its RGB values, its YCBCR values, or HSL values, or NITS values are um, so that you can determine at a pixel by pixel level exactly what brightnesses, exactly what color ranges are within your image. For me, the most powerful tool of the HDR Image Analyzer is the CIE Gamut tool. This is a filtered view, so it's not trying to show you every pixel within it, but it's showing you kind of a heat map of where your colors land within the image. The HDR Image Analyzer offers some false color out of gamut modes. These are selectable. You can define when you want it to say that you're out of gamut. Um, that makes sure that if you are looking at the image or the reference image on the display visually, um, you don't have to necessarily go and try and look at where the data is. Um, it's going to highlight on the HDR image analyzer the specific regions of your image that have gone out of the gamut that you've said. The HDR image analyzer includes a LumiColor waveform. If you're familiar with using a waveform monitor, this is going to be very familiar for you. But once again, the HDR image analyzer gives you more detail and more finesse in its detail than any other set of scopes generally on the market. With the LumiColor waveform, you can get a really great graphical representation about how your three color channels are overlapping to create the brightness values within your image. The average brightness from a technical point of view um, is so that you don't exceed the capabilities of displays. OLEDs and LCD displays often have a maximum frame average, and if you go above that frame average, you're going to start getting uh, brightness shifts within the image where the display is going to limit what you're actually doing. And once again, if you go above that maximum frame average, the display is going to compensate by reducing the overall brightness and power. Now on some reference monitors, you're going to get an indicator for that. On many, you don't. And that's where the frame average light level tool becomes very useful. HDR Image Analyzer gives me quick setups. So changing between uh, my HDR modes, my SDR modes, or if I'm doing some other kind of uh, setup on set, um, I can quickly switch the HDR Image Analyzer into the mode that I need it to be operating in. The right um, transfer function, the right color space, the right layout of all of the tools that I want. That makes sure that I'm not being slowed down by the analyzer. When I need it to do something, changing it from the current mode into the mode that I need it to be in is usually just a couple of mouse clicks away and I'm, and I'm really good to go right from there. The HDR Image Analyzer offers a line analysis mode. This is a very similar mode to the pixel picker, but instead of picking just a single pixel, you can pick the entire line. Um, this lets you see on a more uh, pixel or column by column basis exactly how brightness and contrast levels are changing and adjusting within the image. And so the HDR Image Analyzer gives me a consistent and constant reference that I can always trust to know exactly what I'm doing with my exposure, with my colorimetry, with my white balance, 